actually marxism is uh, what is marxism marxism is a world outlook uh, what does it mean actually if you ask this question what is marxism to anyone any marxist any marxist party or any member of marxist party or marxist they will give this answer that marxism is a world outlook but the problem is very few people really understand the meaning of this world outlook outlook that means that we have to see the world through an outlook through a vision so this vision or this outlook uh, the point of view the method of seeing this is world outlook method of seeing to the world so when you apply this method of seeing the world in different countries in different perspective in different situation then definitely <coughs> different path will come in front of you different path will be there in different country situation are different then when you apply marxism in the concrete reality of a particular country or a particular situation definitely you have to travel through different roads say i am giving one example that in uh, what marx said marx uh, marx uh, applied the marxist methodology in the mainly in the west european context in uh, 1860s 1870s 1880s in, in this period in this period they had an understanding that bourgeois revolution will be led by the bourgeoisie and socialist revolution or proletarian revolution will be led by the proletariat and their party communist party so this was the understanding so what bourgeois revolution will do when bourgeois revolution under the leadership of bourgeoisie complete the bourgeois bourgeois, bourgeois revolution then the bourgeois level development will there capitalist development will be there and on the basis of this capitalist development a proletarian revolution will take place or emerge under the leadership of proletariat so this was mainly their understanding in a particular situation of and a particular time that is west europe but at the time of the russian revolution the situation was different there lenin what lenin said what bolshevik party came into a conclusion that the bourgeois revolution in bourgeois revolution in russia will be led by the working class because bourgeoisie they are not able to lead the bourgeois revolution itself so the bourgeois revolution will be led by the working class or the bolshevik party so that is their understanding and what menshevik said menshevik rather they were uh, uh, sticking to the old marxist old marxist means the marxist uh, 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 method which was applied in the western european perspective menshevik said that the bourgeois revolution in russia must be led by the bourgeois and after the completion of the bourgeois revolution the capitalist development will take place and on that basis the proletarian revolution will take place under the leadership of proletariat that was menshevik point of view so there is a two different point point of views of bolshevik and menshevik on the question of democratic revolution here you you, you see that the menshevik are more marxist in this way bolsheviks were deviating de 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 from the marxist path but is it so no we know that bolshevik were the marxist menshevik were non marxist and how it is possible because that marxism is not the particular process particular steps which were taken in a particular country in a particular perspective those things are not marxism those thing is ap ap application of marxism application of marxism particular step of application of marxism but what is marxism marxism is the outlook itself when lenin used this same outlook in the russian context, then lenin came to this conclusion that russian revolution be it democratic revolution or socialist revolution is must be led by the working class i am giving you another example if you read the marx writing what he 
or they, Marx and Engels both, what they told about the peasantry in the West European context. The peasantry, uh, Marx never uh, gave a very, uh, they have a very, no, 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 uh, very good impression they did not have on the peasantry. Peasantry is backward. Peasantry is, uh, their political consciousness is not there in peasantry. They said many things about the backwardness of peasantry in the Western European context. And mainly they depended on the working class, working, uh, industrial working class, for the West European perspective. But what we did in China? What Communist Party did in China? In China, there are also some Communists who were following blindly, mechanically, this Marxist interpretation on peasantry on the context of Western Europe. They were following blind, blindly in China also. You know Wang Ming. Wang Ming and many other communists in the communist parties. They were the blue-eyed boys of Third International. What they did? They did the same mistake. They followed and copied the Western European method in China. And only they concentrated in the industrial towns and industrial cities. They tried to copy the Russian Revolution depending on the workers, industrial workers only. But what was the line of the Mao? Understanding the particular situation of the China, Mao said that the peasantry, we have to go to the village. We have to organize the peasantry in the village under the leadership of the working class. But the main motive force was in Chinese revolution was peasantry. If peasantry was backward, if, if peasantry was, uh, there is no class consciousness in the peasantry, how could you mobilize the peasantry in the uh, 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 revolution, a uh, new democratic revolution in China? Situation is changed. Because in different situations, your application of Marxism, Marxism means the world outlook, your application of Marxism will take, must take in a different path. So Russian path is a different one, Chinese path is a different one. And in India, when we are applying same world outlook in Indian perspective, definitely we will have many new features, many other features. Those features were not present in Russia or in China. Mr. Europe, Europe particularly. Huh? Mr. Europe, Europe particularly. Hi, Europe. Even, even, even in Europe. So that is the thing actually. Uh, we have to, here is the importance of concrete understanding or concrete analysis of the concrete situation. Many times this, this line was said, this is said, that we have to go for a concrete analysis of concrete situation. But nobody to do that. They are copying. They are having a formula in mind. They are copying the method of other countries, especially Europe or Russia or even China. And they are copying this to Indian perspective. It will not give result. This is not Marxism at all. This is, popularly we are saying mechanical Marxism. But this is not Marxism at all. Copying something, this is not Marxism. Marxism is that you have to go for this thing. Concrete analysis of the concrete situation. And what you will do after uh, concrete analysis? What concrete analysis me is meant for? Concrete analysis means that understanding the concrete reality, you have to take the path accordingly. That means this path may not uh, be similar to the other paths of the paths of the other countries. May not be similar, different one. Chinese revolution was a completely different one. And uh, Russian revolution was a different one. And uh, Indian revolution will be a different one. So you must have this courage. Copying, there is no courage is required to copy. To uh, again and again repeat the old formulas, there is no courage is required. Courage is required to understand the situation, to apply the Marxism, go for the uncharted path. Travel, you have to travel through uncharted path. In every revolution, you have to, you must go for a path which no one went through this path before. That is called uncharted path. This uh, uncharted. Russian, uncharted. This, in the Russian revolution, Bolshevik party had to go through this uncharted path. In the Chinese revolution, the communist party uh, went through this uncharted path. And Indian revolution also, the Indian communist must go through this uncharted path. So, 
experiments. You must have the uh, courage to uh, make experiments. You have, must have courage to analyze, to be critical, critically analyze our past, critically analyze our formulas, old formulas. So new formulas will come out. The new development will come out. Marxism is not a static thing. Marxism is not like the religious books, Vedas, Quran or Bible that every word, every sentence which are written there we have to follow. No. Marxism is not like that. Marxism is a science. Science means what? Science means that you have to give birth new ideas, many new things. Because new applications are there. Situation is always changing. And in this always changing situation, you have to always go for experiment and get result out of it. Then only you will be successful. Success is not a very easy thing. If the copying the uh, method, uh, re, uh, repeating uh, uh, saying of this old method or uh, old formulas, if these things are the key for success, then everybody will be successful. Success is not that much easy. For this thing you need courage, you need wisdom, you need uh, you need to experiment and you have to pass through, uh, travel through uncharted path. Thank you.